Today on Audio Trends TV, we're going to show you how to set up a basic hi fi stereo system. Let's get straight into it. So, first up, let's go through what you're actually going to need to set up a stereo hi fi system. First, you're going to need two passive speakers. Now, we've got bookshelf speakers here, but you could use floor standing speakers, which are a lot bigger. Next, you're going to need an integrated amplifier, which is the box down the bottom here. We're using a Cambridge Audio AXA35. That's proven to be a very well working and good sounding amplifier and it's very affordable so that's a plus. Next, you're going to need a turntable because we're making an analog stereo hi-fi system. So if you're wanting a digital stereo hi-fi system, you'd need a music streamer. We're not going to bother with that today. Analog is the way we're going. So to go along with this turntable, you're going to need a phono preamplifier. Now some integrated amplifiers, which is the box down here, do have a phono input built into the back of them. So theoretically, you could just plug your turntable straight from here into the integrated amplifier, but for the best experience, it's better to get an external phono preamplifier. It just means that you're gonna hear the music the way the artist intended it to be heard. Now you're also gonna need two RCA leads, which is what I have here, to connect the phono preamplifier into the integrated amplifier. You'll also need some speaker wire to go from the speakers into the amplifier. Let's get into setting it up. Okay, so the first thing to do would be to plug the turntable into the phono preamplifier. So you'll find on the end of the turntable lead, you have a red RCA connection and a white RCA connection. Now you'll also have this funny little wire coming off here. That's an earth wire or a ground. So what you want to do is you want to take the wire from the turntable and plug it into the back of the phono preamplifier's input. Now the red goes to red and the white goes to white. Now to plug the ground in, you're actually going to need a small screwdriver to undo the ground screw. Now just loosen that up, don't actually undo it. Then you want to get your ground, place it in between the screw and the body of the phono preamplifier, and then tighten the screw back onto the ground. So the next step is to plug the two RCA leads into the phono preamplifier and then into the integrated amplifier. We're going to start on the back of the phono preamplifier. So the same theory applies, you've got a red one and you've got a white one. Plug the white into the white output on the phono preamplifier and then plug the red RCA cable into the red output on the phono preamplifier. The next step is you want to choose an input on the back of your integrated amplifier. Now it can be any input except for phono. I'm going to choose A1 on mine. So the same thing again, red goes to red, white goes to white. Now the next step is to plug the speakers into the integrated amplifier. So you're going to get your speaker wire, and it's again the same thing, you've got a red and a black. You want to plug one of the reds into the red speaker terminal, and with the black into the black speaker terminal. Then from there, you want to find the speaker inputs on the back of your integrated amplifier, and plug the red into the red and the black into the black. You'll also see next to the speaker inputs on the amplifier, you'll have a left and a right input. Make sure that you plug the left speaker into the left side and the right speaker into the right side. Now just the same thing for the other one. Red to red and black to black. And again on the back of the turntable, just do it to the left input, just like that. Now of course the last step is to plug the power cables in. Make sure everything's connected right, double check it, make sure you haven't done anything wrong or missed any steps. And of course the last step is to make sure that your turntable is set up correctly. Now if you've just got one and you haven't set it up, watch our video from last week. It was on the Project Debut Carbon Evo and I'll put the link down in the description to that. Mine's already set up, let's get a record and try it out. Perfect. As you can see, we did a good job and it works perfectly. It sounds really nice. I love this simple setup. And hopefully this video helps you to set up your own hi-fi system. And if you haven't yet and you were thinking about it, well, hopefully this made you want to. And if you'd like to get any of the products that you've seen in this video, head to our website. It's audiotrends.com.au. We've got free shipping Australia-wide, so you'll always get a pretty good deal. And if you've got any questions or queries about how to set this up or any of the products in the video, you can give us a call on 9874 
8233. One of our friendly staff will give you all the answers that you need. Thank you so much for watching Audio Trends TV. It's always a pleasure to be here and I'll see you again very soon.